Hey, what's up guys? Uh, in this video, I'm gonna sh uh, talk about security. Could be security for your house, in my case, it's security for my, my studio. Uh, I've over the years been kind of testing different devices and things like that. Uh, I'm one of those people who I don't, I don't like having monthly payments to pay to a you know a, a home security for example company or things like that. Uh, so I've always kind of relied on my own kind of setups. Uh, ever since the IP cameras came into the market, it's it's obviously been a lot easier. Uh, this is actually a, a camera, a new one that I got. I already have one of these uh, just in a different color that I mounted uh, outside of my studio on one side of the building this is another one i'm going to mount on the other side of the building where i have two entrances and uh, i got this one because i really liked the, the previous one there's also another set of cameras that i use indoors plus i also use a safe and other things like that that i'm going to kind of quickly mention uh, and these are all simple affordable ways that again will not require you to have like a monthly subscription uh, first let me maybe open this up and uh, show you basically what this is so the i've i've tested out a bunch of these cameras over the years and uh, I, there's always something like either buggy with their software or or they require you to have like a cloud monthly subscription where they they record basically all your activity there this camera allows you to record uh, internally Comes even with all the tools, which is always helpful. And comes with all the screws and everything. And then here's the light itself. So like I said, this is the second one that I got. The first one that I already mounted is the identical, it's just different color, it's white. Uh, this one is gonna be for my other side of the building. I just wanted to see how the black one looks. Uh, it's, it's good because this is basically going to install in the place of your floodlights. So if you have floodlights on the side of your, your house or whatever building you're, you're putting this on, then it's super easy because you just take out the floodlight, all the wires are going to be there, the power, power wires, and you pretty much hook it up the same way. Uh, it is It has a nice sealed kind of gasket up here. I, I've had the other one for, uh, it's going to be like oh, just over three months that I have it installed. Uh, and I had it in some really bad weather and never had any problems with basically it stopping to work or any leaks or anything like that damaging the, the camera. Uh, the cool thing about this camera is, well, there's a few things. It has motion sensor. Obviously, it's a floodlight. Uh, they also, they're also actually very bright lights, which is good. And as you can see, you can independently adjust where you want them to point. There's a motion sensor here built in. Here's your camera. On the back here, you can actually put in a micro SD card. So when once you put the micro SD card, you, it will record basically either continuously you can record or record whenever the motion sensor gets activated, uh, all that stuff. And then you can always access whatever is recorded on that card, uh, you know, through the internet, whether it's your you know Wi-Fi network or, or anywhere that you are, and you log in with your phone to the app, and then you can actually see uh what's what's happening basically it has a speaker so it actually has a you know and a microphone so it's a two-way communication device if you wanted to like let's say if there's i don't know something happened on the street or you want to talk to somebody you know your co-worker or maybe like i said if it's in your house maybe your relative who's outside you can literally go to the app and you can talk to them because they're going to hear you through the speaker it's actually uh, 110 db which is also good because you you can also enable on this camera you can enable uh, different like active activity or different basic reactions for the camera. So you can have the camera turn on the lights, or you can even have the the camera turn on this alarm. So it's like this you know very loud, annoying beeping alarm that is definitely gonna let everybody in the area know that something's happening, uh, and hopefully it's gonna scare the the bad guys or whoever's trying to break into your place. <laughs> Plus, like I said, you can just directly talk to them. Um, so you can actually say, hey, you know, I'm watching you right now being re being recorded and uh, the police has been notified, so get the hell out. <laughs> now, when you're using the app, uh, this is kind of how it looks. It's very straightforward. If you have more than one camera, you can pick which camera you want to view. Then inside of it here, you can view the live feed uh, or you can click also on, on the clips. You can see what was recorded, what time. And then at the same time here, you can change all the settings for the sensitivity of the camera. So for example, if you wanted to only react in the left side or right side or the middle of the, if the for example, the field of view uh, to movement, then you can do that. Uh, you can change the sensitivity of how much you want it to react. Uh, and also the same thing with the light, when you want the light to turn on, if you want it to turn automatically, etc. If you turn on this little bell up here, you can also uh, make the camera just ring. 
you can enable the barking dog sound and then there's also a few phrases that you can enable uh, now obviously camera alone is not gonna do wonders for you so you gotta have uh, you know good lux first of all in your house or in your, in your studio so install good lux uh, make sure that it's not easy to to break into your place but this is more so that you're aware of what's happening so you can call the police uh, the for the interior I also have other cameras that I've tried that I've tried multiple ones I'm still haven't found ones that I'm like 100% happy with but uh, the ones here that you see from Yi uh, these are simple cameras and I have I think like eight of them all over the place kind of you know hidden around and it also allows me to you can also actually on this one record internally you can put a micro SD card or you can connect to their cloud service and record there uh, I don't do that because I don't want to again pay the monthly fee uh, but even when you're not subscribed to the, the monthly whatever cloud service, you can still the, the cameras are full functioning and you can again on your phone uh, just you know start up their app and you can see what's happening in different areas of, of your uh, your studio uh, or your house. So that's another set of cameras. Now these cameras are only for indoors and I'm letting you know because I took one of these e cameras that I had oh, you know indoor here in my studio and I put it outside before I got these ones and it survived actually surprisingly it survived a few months but eventually because i think it was the weather like the temperature change but also i mean some, there was a few days where we had like torrential rain and the wind and the rain was like coming in sideways uh at that point uh the, eventually the, the that camera basically broke down on me so uh so i would not recommend putting those cameras outside so that's why i'm saying for outside get something kind of more robust bit more expensive but really something that's going to last you uh, another thing i would recommend is get a safe i mean you know especially like i obviously i'm not going to be able to lock up all of my cameras and all like really expensive things uh you know th that i would want to lock up because i would need a giant safe because the cameras and the lenses that i have are just too big and bulky but at the end of the day though like for me especially the most important you know aside from like documents or whatever is going to be for my work is my memory cards because at the end of the day like if i shoot a project and i have you know all the stuff recorded on it uh you know or my hard drives actually you know usually i'll yeah, i'll have the memory cards but then i'll offload my my footage onto the different hard drives that i have and i'll lock it in a safe there's different safes you can get big ones small ones the one i got up here uh, it's only 70 bucks at uh, the time that I got it and it's it's simple it works it's great and even better if you live in a place where you're allowed to defend yourself you can even store your gun in there so you can you know let's say you're in the in your studio or in your house again when something happens you can always go and reach for there and grab your gun um, and and de defend yourself in your, in your property and obviously another benefit of that is like let's say if you are in your house and you have a gun never ever i always tell that to everybody on all of my friends you know guns are great when they're used properly but uh, if you don't use them properly or more 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 importantly when you don't store them properly and you have uh, relatives or other people or, or kids god forbid in your house and they can easily access your gun then that's obviously a very bad thing so that's one of the reasons why you know i like having these kind of small safes this one is battery operated now if the battery fails you always have a key so you can open it with the key but with the battery you just you can easily program whatever code you want uh it's a simple four pin code and uh and that's it you punch in the code and it opens for you uh, obviously the safe you can mount it on a wall or you know under your desk or whatever it is you know, preferably i would say mount it to like a two by four or a concrete wall uh so that it's not easy to basically grab and, and rip the safe uh but yeah once you have it mounted like hard mounted it's it's really secure anyway so uh, that's pretty much it so, so i'm gonna go right now outside and install this camera on the other side of my building so i'm excited about that uh and if you guys have any other like suggestions and, and tips on how to secure your house whatever your your office well you know whatever it is that you want to kind of you know increase the security and let me know if you, maybe you have some other ideas uh, like i said obviously this number one step is make sure you have good locks on your doors <laughs> anyways my name is tom and i'll see you guys in the next video bye